Welcome, dear guest, friend, and follower to the Kile Caribbean YouTube channel. If you can or can't sew, it's not a problem. Learn firsthand by a world renowned lingerie and bathing suit designer, Mr. Hugo Kili. He is also known for his lingerie and bathing suit easy to put together patterns. We welcome novices, hobbyists, and professional sewers to this channel. Rest assured, you all will learn new tips and a nice craft. After or during the tutorial, you may also sew your lingerie and you will be amazed at how easy it really is. You may also start your own business if you wish to. Here we have our pieces for the panty boxer shorts and cotton knit. We have the front piece, the posterior piece, the internal gusset, the external gusset, waistband elastic, and a decorative bow. We have for the front piece, the gusset, the fold, the waist side, and leg opening. For the posterior piece, we have the fold, the gusset, the leg opening side and the waist. Now let's start sewing! To start assembling our panty boxer, first we take the gusset with the right, so the exterior side below. Then we are going to center the internal gusset with the right side on top. Note, we need to have 2 cm over on each side, which corresponds to the hem of the leg opening. And we sew it to the front and back piece of the panty boxer. Now we are going to baste the two sides to hold it in place. The basting will be removed after the front and posterior piece have been sewn to the gusset. Therefore, the we've done one side and now we continue with the other side. Let's proceed to join the posterior piece to the gusset and the front piece. We are going to overlock it with an overlock machine of 3 threads. Remember that you can use nylon yarn or preferably thread. Here I am joining the posterior piece to the gusset. Now we are joining the front to the gusset with the same operation. going to open up the left openings for the hem. Normally, in panty boxers, the hemming is done with a cover stitch machine. Some people use the twin needle. Since we don't have a cover stitch machine, in this case, we are overlocking the leg opening. Then we are going to overlock the side seams together. We repeat the procedure on the other leg opening.
Now we proceed to close the side seams of the front and posterior side with the overlock machine. Starting with the hemming of the leg opening, we start on the front of the leg opening where the gusset and the front piece were sewn together. We make the fold for the hem allowance with a width of 2 cm. We start with a zigzag stitch, half long and half wide. Industrially, this is done with a cover stitch machine of 2 or 3 needles. This can also be done with twin needle of half a cm wide. I'm doing it with a zigzag stitch which will also give the garment a nice finish. I continue folding and make sure that the zigzag stitch covers the overlock seam. We fold 1.5 to 2 cm and continue sewing. The stitch should not be narrow because the wider stitch will help with the stretching of the fabric when wearing it. On the other hand, it cannot be too wide either. We reach the back to where we started, we go over for 1 cm and we do a reverse stitch. The same process we repeat on the other leg opening. Now we are going to sew the waistband elastic. This one is of 2.5 cm wide with ruffs. We are starting in the middle front where we make a notch and we start 0.5 cm before the notch. We put them under the presser foot and we're going to start sewing in the middle of the elastic. We start and we're going to use the French seam technique. Remember that video 5 explains this seam. With this seam we take 5 cm from the presser foot to us, we stretch half a cm and help from behind. We take 5, stretch 1 and help from behind. the French method of sewing elastics, this is done in two steps. First, we sew, then we settle with the second stitch and the stretching is very soft. It's way less as to when we do it with a 3.6 zigzag stitch or the zigzag stitch. We continue in the center throughout the waist. We take 5, stretch 1 and help from behind. We take 5, stretch 1 and help from behind. Here there's no need to stretch the fabric as with the 3.6x. We take 5, stretch 1 and help from behind. This is a repeating process that will become very repetitive throughout the tutorials. And you'll be soon doing it without even thinking about it. When we reach to the beginning and we meet to the other elastic, we stop. We leave the needle down, 
we lift the presser foot, we accommodate the elastics on top of each other without stretching, we lower the presser foot and we sew for 0.5 cm and we do a reverse stitch. Then we take the garment from under the presser foot, we trim the excess thread and elastic. Now we fold the elastic and we proceed to settle with the same stitch we just used. We fold, we pull the fabric from under the elastic so that it doesn't form any creases. We can stretch 0.5 cm as we previously did, which will help the garment to be well presented. Normally this is done with a cotton stitch machine, but how we sew it with a domestic machine is an adaptation of the stitch, which is also very secure. We reach to the beginning, we reverse a bit, we trim the excess thread and we notice that the elastic has one side on top of the other one. Now we are going to perform two stitches with the zigzag stitch to secure them. As you do with the zigzag stitch, short or straight stitch. We repeat the same operation on both elastic endings. This avoids the elastic to fray. We can also cut the excess elastic if you have a piece of unsewn left over so that the elastic doesn't fray. Now we proceed to add the decorative bow in the middle front at the waist. This we sew with a 3.6 zigzag stitch of 0 cm wide and very long. The bow helps to give the garment a more sophisticated look and it also helps to cover the stitches on the endings of the elastic. This is the completed project. It wasn't that difficult after all, right? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we invite you to follow our Facebook page and to visit our website. The relevant information will be found in the description box below.